Right, okay, so this is uh, 2004, question 26. I do appreciate it's complicated. But like I just said, you can put it into three parts. You can have your um, voltage dividers or Wheatstone Bridge part, which is this part here. And to answer any questions in this, it's using the standard gauge formula, V1 equals R1 over R1 plus R2 times Vs. Okay, you get that from the standard grade pages, or you can do it, or you can just remember. I think I'll do a joke one once where everyone turns around and I'll actually film you all turning around. <laughs> okay, second one part here is you've got the bit with the, the transistor, which is this bit here. Transistor turns on at 0 0.7 volts. So when a 0 0.7 volts coming in here, it allows current to flow down that way. Um, and it allows the relay to turn on. Okay, it allows current to flow from top to bottom, 15 volts. And then you've got your centre part here, which is your op amp. Now, just by looking at that, you should be able to tell me which mode the op amp's in. There's only two modes. Is it in inverting mode or differential mode? Differential. differential. How, do you how do you remember that, Fraser? It's really easy. How do we know the difference between differential and inverting mode? To get a difference of something, how many things do you need? The difference between something and something else. So how many things do you need? Two things. Okay, so to get a difference of something, you need two inputs. So the differential Im mode amplifier has two inputs, whereas an inverted mode amplifier only has one input. Okay, so these are two differential mode amplifiers. Now, <coughs> is this, now the other thing to check for is what? How else do we check that it's in differential mode, apart from the fact that it's two inputs? Ross, check your job, I'll tell you. I don't know. What else do we check for? to make sure this is actually in differential mode. Okay, so if we want to label these RF, R1, R3, R4, then we can label them. Okay, so let's uh, label the input, the resistors. So this is RF, this is R1, this is R3, this is R4. Now. Ross said RF over R1 is to be equal to R3 over R4. Is that correct, Robert? Yes. Yes, it is. Now, sometimes they try and complicate the matter by changing these values of R3 and R4 or RF and R1. But as long as the ratio is the same, the fraction is the same, it's still going to work out the same thing. <coughs> okay, so that's the different parts. It's really, it, I think looking at these questions, people just look at them and go, oh God, that looks so complicated. But if you can split it into different parts that are nice and simple. I mean, this generally is simple. It's just a voltage divider. Two voltage dividers with this formula at the top. This is just a differential op amp. And we know the differential op amp formula because V out equals V2 minus V1 times RF over R1. Now that formula you get from the data book as well. Differential mode op amp formula. So that applies to that. And in this final part here, all you know is that when that voltage here becomes greater than 0 0.7 volts, current will flow down the transistor switches on. Now, I guarantee that's all you really need to know for this question. Okay? And it's three separate areas of the course that you have to pull together. Okay? So as long as you think about it three separate areas, you're never really going to get that confused. Right, so let's have a go at some of these questions. Let's just walk through what you would do for some of this. Okay. Right, so V1 is 7.5 volts, 7.5 volts between uh, this point here and this point here. Uh, when the temperature increases, the resistance of a thermistor decreases. Here is your thermistor here. That's your thermistor. You should recognise that from standard grade as well. Okay. Um, at a temperature of 35 degrees Celsius, the voltage V2 is 7.52 volts. Calculate the output voltage V0 at this temperature. Okay. Now, what kinds of information do we need to allow us to do that? So you want to know V out, this here. What piece of information do we need to work out V out? Hint, look at your, look at your differential amplifier formula. What piece of information do we need to know to get V out? Andrew? We need V2, right? What else do we need? 
We may already have it. Carlson? Differential mode amplifier formula. What other things are in it? It's in your, it's in your jaw. You only did it yesterday. RF over R1. Do we have RF and R1? Yes. yes, we do have RF and R1. So, you want to know the output, so you'd maybe want to think about your differential mode formula. So, uh, let's just write down that formula. Okay, so it's uh, V out, oops, V out equals V2 minus V1 times RF over R1. Do we know RF and R1? Yes. Do we know V1? Yes. Do we know V2? Not yet. So the only thing we need yeah, to know... No, no. It says it's no, sure it does. <laughs> Fair enough, you're right. Okay, it's only, in fact, there you go, it's given away. Two marks. Two marks means a standard numerical question, which means plug it, get the formula down, plug your numbers in, get your answer, get your units. All right? So, uh, you're right. If that was three marks, what I was thinking they've done is here is they've only given you the voltage across the thermistor, but they've given it a voltage across both. So that's fine. So all you do is plug the numbers in and get your answer. You should be able to get the output of the op amp from that there. So, do that now. Get a jotter or whatever, and you can do it on a showing board if you want. Just scroll this back down. Why is that going up even though I'm pressing down? Okay, so uh, by plugging the numbers in, pressing A, we all get 0 0.24 volts as your output voltage for that. Right. Let's move on to the next bit. The next bit asks us um, to, when the temperature rises, V0 increases and the alarm switches on. Explain how the circuit operates to switch on the alarm. Now this means you need to talk your way through how this alarm bit here comes on. So it says when the temperature rises, V0 increases and the alarm switches on. So what you're saying is, well, as the temperature rises, this affects the thermistor. And as the temperature rises, what's going to happen to the resistance of the thermistor? Scott, what happens to the share of the voltage the thermistor has? So resistance decreases. That means voltage share also decreases. So, okay. You also remember that voltage share and resistance are, are linked. So if voltage share goes down, resistance must have gone down. If resistance goes up, voltage share goes up. So, if the temperature, in, uh, the temperature rises, the resistance of the thermistor decreases, that means its voltage share decreases. If its voltage share decreases, what happens to V2, Carson? Increases, good. So, if the voltage share across the thermistor goes down, then the voltage share across the, that variable resistor, which is also V2, must go up because they've got 15 across them, that one goes down, that one must go up. So if that one goes up, what does that mean for the differential op amp? Its gain is kept the same, Ross. If you change V2, right, look at the formula you've written down for the, the bit you did for part A. If you change V2, what happens to the output, V out? If you make that bigger, V2 bigger. Right. Differential op amp formula, V2 minus V1 equals RF times, it will get bigger. So if you increase V2, you're increasing that difference that you're trying to amplify. So if you increase the difference and you amplify it, you're going to increase the output. So voltage share of the transistor goes down. Voltage share of the variable resistor goes up. The voltage share goes up. Then the output from the dif differential op amp will go up as well. And what was it to start with? 0 0.024? Is that what it was? 0 0.24. So if that's going to rise up, at what point is it going to turn on the relay to turn on the alarm? What voltage does the V out need to be to turn on the relay? Fraser? 0 0.7 volts. So, voltage share goes down, voltage share goes up. That there's a greater voltage coming into the differential op amp, that means there's a the greater difference, greater difference is amplified, means V out goes up, V out rises above 0 0.7 volts, turning on a transistor, turn, allowing current to flow 
from the plus 15 volt rail down to zero, turning the relay on. Okay, that is how the alarm switches on. Okay, now that is worth two marks. That will be four half marks. So there'll be four pieces of information there. Talk about voltage share of the variable resistor going up. Talk about differential op amp, the difference increasing. That means the output is greater. It increases to above 0 0.7 turning on a transistor. So there's four little bits of information. That might also have been a three mark question with six pieces of information. So you have to do it in more detail, depending on how much information the marker's wanting. Okay? Right, I'm going to ask you to do this question for homework. Okay? Uh, for next week, but I'm basically going to, I'm giving you all the answers, so it's not a big deal. Right, so then part C there, the alarm is on when V0 is greater than or equal to 0 0.72 volts, right? So it's just saying 0 0.72. So some transistors, slight variance in what they have to be, we say 0 0.7, we're saying 0 0.72 here. The graph of the temperature against V2 is shown. Using information from the graph, determine the minimum temperature at which the alarm switches on. Okay, how many marks is that? It's only worth two marks, again, for that. So, uh, it's asking us to use information in the graph to determine the minimum temperature at which the alarm switches on. Okay, so to do this last part of the question, it's saying um, the graph for temperature against V2 is shown. Using information in the graph to determine the minimum temperature at which the alarm switches on. So, if you calculate V2, you can then go back and get the temperature. So to calculate V2, we simply take a differential op-amp formula that we had to start with and rearrange for V2. Since we know V out, we know RF, we know R1, we know V1 as well. Okay? So rearrange the formula for V2 and tell me what the, the temperature is going to be. I'll leave it on that just now to let you see V to let you see the RF and R1. Calculate V2 first and then we can use the graph. So uh, for Monday I'd like to do this question in your homework jotter. Okay, we've pretty much done it all, all right? But I want the major one that I'm looking for here is the answer to question B. Because explain how the circuit operates to switch on the alarm. You need to word that correctly to get you two marks. So in your homework jotter, it's higher 2004, question 26 <coughs> for Monday. Um, and you can start it just now if you want. You get five minutes or so just now, just to get the basics of it down. Do your homework jotter. Can you remind um, Andrew? Uh, Michael and who else is away? They won't hear it. They remind them, they say, oh, I didn't hear that. Well, I'm telling them, they, they, they said they were going to check the website, so the homework is on the website for Monday. I just want that done for Monday. It's not a huge amount of work. Yep, sure. No.